So yesterday I talked about um, getting radio play and um, there are two other things that I want to add to that. One is internet radio. Internet radio is um, digital radio. It's there, there are a bunch of folks out here that have radio stations online and there's actually um, viewers of that. Like there's there's followers who actually pay attention to internet radio. So if you want to do an internet radio campaign, they're quite affordable and you can still have a decent size reach. They're especially great for underground artists because most of the people who pay attention to internet radio are like the true hardcore fans of rap and hip hop. So um, I used to I used to not be a believer in internet radio um, for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't really listen to it myself, so I didn't really understand it, which is just ignorance. And then um, the second reason was I couldn't track it. Well, now that we have digital radio tracker, we can track internet radio and we can get a feel for the size of the audience that is actually listening to the music. And um, I do internet radio campaigns for almost all of my clients. And the thing that I'll say about internet radio, even though I can't really track exactly who's listening, I have noticed that the songs that I do an internet radio campaign on always seem to be bigger than the songs that I don't. They seem to have a better reaction. They seem to get more views and just overall more attention than the songs that I don't do. And I don't know whether that's because I'm doing more mainstream music for um, internet radio campaigns or if the reach is just really that great. But it is a wonderful way to um, to make some money because you're going to get paid for the internet streams. Um, so make sure you sign up, sign up through Sound Exchange, and that's soundexchange.com because that's who's paying you for internet radio. And um, which leads me to my second thought for... Um, a follow-up to the radio video is if you're going to get terrestrial radio, which is FM radio, make sure that you are signed up to one of the performance um, rights organization, either ASCAP, BMI, or CSAC. I know there's a couple of newer ones that have sprouted up. I haven't done any research on them, so I'm not going to mention them here. But you guys may want to just do some research and see what is out there besides ASCAP and BMI because they are um, definitely um, places that you want to be a member of. With ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC, you're going to join as a publisher, and you're also going to join as a writer. They're the two different um, sides of publishing that matter when you're getting radio play. So just make sure that you sign up for both aspects. Um, for my clients, the most frustrating part is you have to choose a name, and once you fill out the form, you've got to wait for them to respond. It's not, you can't choose a name and find out if it's if it's um, possible to use that name in real time. And that's a little bit frustrating because you're going to fill out the paperwork. You're going to then have to wait for them to respond before you're going to be able to know what name you can actually use for ASCAP or BMI. Um, I don't know if CSAC does it in real time or not. I don't really know anybody that is affiliated with CSAC. I know that they're legitimate. I know that they own the Harry Fox agency. Um, and I know that um, they're pretty well funded. I just don't know any artists that are part of CSAC. So definitely do your research. Um, ASCAP is at ASCAP.com. BMI is at BMI.com. And CSAC is at CSAC.com. Um, they all kind of do the same thing. The difference... Um, that I see between ASCAP and BMI, and I don't recommend one over the other. You're going to have to do your research and figure out which one's better for you. But BMI um, 
is owned by broadcasters and ASCAP is a membership organization that is um, owned and run by artists. So that's a little bit different. They police um, radio stations. So whether you want to belong to an organization that's run by broadcasters or run by artists, that's certainly your choice. But just do the research and see which one makes more sense. Look at the price to join each. Um, it's a little bit different. It's about the same, but it's a little bit different. That may enter into it. And for those of you that are using Song Trust, um, Song Trust goes ahead and um, signs you up for BMI so that you don't have to do it yourself, nor do you have the expense. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. That's my follow-up to my radio promotion video from yesterday. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Bye.